back in Tarkov. Look at that. Just spun myself into existence. Okay, it's been a while. It has been quite a while. What is this? I've never seen this before. Is this a new... New combat stim? Interesting, interesting. God, it's actually been forever. I feel like... I feel like every time I play this, I, that's exactly what I say. Is this a player? No. No. It can't be a player. Wait. Did they make it so they mimic you? They must have. They must have. Okay, except for this part. Wow, they mimic you. That's crazy. Wait. Uh, I'm not going to flip them off. I heard that they shoot at you if you flip them off enough. I'm not going to do it. Oh, don't aim at me like that. Oh, you're freaking me out. Friendly. Yeah, friendly. That's incredible. And they occasionally check the chamber on their gun. That's really cool. I mean, the AI could definitely be updated a little bit more still, but... That's a step in the right direction, I guess. What's this? Data report? It's in Russian. I don't know how to read Russian. Looks like the stonks have been going down, though. That's not good. I need to increase the stonks. Uh-oh. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I missed one bullet and he just lasered me with like 50. Alright. Gonna go in with a pistol. A little 5-7. See what we can do. Mr. Steal Your Loot. That's me. I love that you can change your name in this game. I know it's not a huge thing. And a lot of people probably don't care. But I think it's really funny. When you kill somebody and then the end screen pops up and you get to see, and you get to see who killed you. It's always just something ridiculous. Does he know? No, he doesn't know, does he? We got him. Damn, this thing's loud. I wanted to get the, uh, the suppressor for this thing, but... I have to be level 10 to use the flea market. Can't do it yet. Oh my god. The heck? I headshotted him, too. Shot him right in the head. Why does he have an SA-58 already? I, like, I don't understand. No way. <laughs> okay. From pistol to loot. And now we extract because there's no reason to stay in here anymore. He must have hit the marked room. I bet you that's what it is. He must have spawned really close to the marked room. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Yep, that's exactly what happened. He opened up the marked room, he found the SA-58 on the ground. And the money case, and he just started, and he was like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I was gonna let him pass, too, I wasn't even gonna shoot him. Oh, he was level one. Okay, I'll leave it. He can have that. 
Hopefully he has it insured. Well, from pistol to money case, two decent weapons. One of these is somewhat decked out. The recoil on this is horrendous. Same thing with the sight. I hate this sight. That's why I never use it. But that's not bad. That money case goes for like uh, probably 350k or something like that. So sell that off and then I got some, some more money to spend on some gear. Okay, where did I spawn? Perfect. Right next to a tanker. I gotta mark four of them, so I'm trying to remember where the other ones are. I always forget because it's always it's always so long in between the tasks when they wipe the stashes and all that. I'll find them. I know there's one other one at old gas station. I'm really glad I found this AK. He's not so glad. I didn't necessarily find it. I killed a guy and took it off him, but... Jesus, look at the blood splatter. That's intense. Look at that. This poor guy, man. To be fair, though, he could have shot me a lot sooner. Pretty sure he saw me first. Okay, we got one marked. We got a ki guy killed. That's good, I guess, you know. We got the loot, so that's fine. God, you really can't see anything with the visors. See, this is why I don't like wearing them. They have their ups, and they also have their downs. The ups, obviously, being able to save your face from a bullet. Hold on, let me check this thing out. Let me see. What the frick is this? I mean, sight's really clean. I like the Bravo sight. It's nice. Man, that thing's ugly looking. Well, they changed this area a lot, didn't they? There's a guy here. How many scabs are in here? What the heck? There should be another scab here somewhere. That's not what I'm looking for. Wait, did they open that building up? Can you go inside that now? Shot him in the head like three times, he didn't die. That's ridiculous. I have no idea if that was a scab or a player. Hopefully he's dead. Just a scav. All right. Ooh, juicy. Even more juicy. Yeah, damn, they've really changed up this area. This is a lot more foliage here. This wall is big now. Damn, it's like they did an entire rework on this area. This is sick. And they've even opened up this area over here. Look at this. This was never open before. So you can go all the way up into that building. And old gas station's over there as well. But I need to, uh... I need to go to the new gas station. Plant the tracker on that one. It's another sniper scav. He's shooting at somebody.
Might be him in the tower now. God, I love this AK. It's so good. I want to make sure there's nobody up here. Before I go and loot that guy. See, the thing is, the more people you kill, the more, the more loot you gain, right? And then the more overweight you become. So you can't run as long. Or as fast. And it makes... Doing these tasks a lot more difficult. But whatever. More money. Level five. Oh, you can keep your gear, man. Don't even worry about it. It's all yours. Except for your drink. That I'm gonna be taking. It's gonna really suck if I have a decent run like this and I manage to die before I get to plant the last one. Damn, they changed this a lot. There's a lot more brush and stuff that you could hide behind, so fights aren't as easy anymore, not as in the open. That's, uh, that's good to see, honestly. It makes spotting people horrendous, but you know what? Like, that's kind of what this game is. It's kind of who spots who first. Alright, just gotta wait this one out, and then we're good to go. People are really going at it. You know what? I wonder if that's even the scav boss, because it it might be. Task complete. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. That's all we needed to do. We got some decent gear. This stuff I can use for my hideout, these screws and the bolts. That's all. It's all good. Not a bad first day to start off.